Summertime. In one blow, everything changes. A giant named Gomer Zomersjoer, summer day man emerges from his subterranean den adorned with grass, stones and moss. Everything is sucky, soggy, muddy, dreary, and people are despondent. And even the birds have stopped singing. Homer's Homer Schuur stretches and stomps his feet, causing the earth to tremble. Birds flutter away in alarm, and other wild animals dart from nearby bushes and thickets. The sky is grey and dull and everything appears soulless, grey and bleak. Then an emerge, immense primal rage begins to seize the ancient giant. It starts with a tickling sensation in his hairy left big toe, followed by a tingling at the tip of his nose, and then a feeling of fluttering of butterflies in his gut. A roar is born like a rolling thunder, much like the earth itself it was born, emerging from the deepest shadow. The most hidden recesses of the subconsciousness of the sentient universe. A primal scream, a primal roar, he rolled it long before it is heard, like prophecies of a savior. Homer, so sure, starts to sweat. Agitated, trembling, fever breaking out. It's as if he sheds a skin like a snake, not just one layer of skin, but hundreds of layers like goats, until his soul is pure, naked, radiant like the sun. A new newborn child, pure. And here comes the roar. It starts gradually with groans and crumbles, coming like a rolling thunder, and then, as if a dumb breaks, the roar permeates everything. The entire wicked world begins to crack and crumble and shatter like a world of glass, collapsing only to be reborn at that very moment. Or maybe it's the other way around. The new world, full of love and compassion, full of hope, and vitality, it's already there. And it was on the brink of freeing itself of its change, of its, its change. The giant was just needed as a reminder or a catalyst. The giant is nothing but the poor Pernif Persephone, per personification of the collective emotions and suppressed powers of humans, animals, plants and stones, deeply intertwined with the soul of the Earth Mother. The roar is liberation. Finally, it is there, summertime.